So today is January <clears throat> 24th. 24th. <laughs> today is January 24th. Today is January 24th. And it is 5 p.m. And we are behind a really slow freaking driver, but we are heading to the seminary. The seminary. Again. Again. So the real question here is what kind of psychopaths decide to go do paranormal investigations? When it's 20, 20 degrees out. 23 degrees out, snowing, <laughs> and it's January. Us bitches. <laughs> who did it? Who did it? Who did it? We did it. We don't we do that. It. It. It's going to be so cold, but it's going to be worth it. Yeah. I will just walk through the snow. Look at this. Oh, there's Shelly. There's my girl Shelly. Hey, Shell Shell. <laughs> we just got done signing our waivers and now while we wait for Cam and Dave, we're gonna go up front and film up front for a little bit. I didn't mean vlog your face the whole time. Like, <laughs> on the, on the ground. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> colder this time but that's okay we became prepared with hats gloves layers um, hand warmers feet warmers we had those last time but we're definitely gonna use them again this time because it's colder and we brought a blanket and we have a space heater oh yeah yeah I'm so excited Me too. but right now we're waiting for Cameron and David to get here um so sh we don't need her to do give us another tour Full tour, right? No. But I want to take her up to the areas we experienced and kind of share with her. I want to ask her about that room up there, room 31. And what about the Blair Witch room? Yes, and I want to find out more. Well, Cam and Dave are fired. <laughs> <laughs> so we will see you guys when we get in there. And I hope you guys enjoy this video and subscribe for more ghost content. Because there's going to be more, baby. And um, here we go. So where did you want to go? How do you want to go first? Um, let's go to, to 31. Um, I'm in that room. Where is the haunted door? Yeah, um, the second Michelle Belanger and Adam's girlfriend, Becca, are really good friends. And when Adam purchased the building, she brought this as a gift. Well, she binds spirits to things, like evil spirits when they're being not cooperating, she'll bind them to things. This one has five mm. bound to it. So it's kind of like Annabelle? Like the, a little the bit. seminary yeah, Annabelle? Kind of, yeah. <laughs> I've she never just... tried because they, she says they're not good spirits, so I don't mess with that. Uh, like, where the germs are going to fall apart right here. Yeah. What's but, the... I don't know. We've investigated in there. We don't usually get too much. You, you know, know why, Do you know why she put her... Um, um, we had a second company that said that there was a evil passion to that, so she did it to kind of get rid of it or at least tame it. You don't know what it was used for? No, it was just like chair and a What the heck? <laughs> it almost looks hoodoo-ish or voodoo-ish because these things are all put together with old rusted stick pens. Yeah. And voodoo was famous for cloth and pens. Mm. And this, these were on here when yeah. he was the building? Yep. Yeah. Um, we didn't get no action from John. We, I went into the 
it's called the evil man room yeah, or, the, yeah, or the yeah. room with the mean guy yeah that, that's me yeah we went in there and something touched me and in the video you can hear like footsteps running away and then i have an evp of someone whispering hello we caught that in the surgeon's room or the doctor's room also we heard a woman say hello right when she introduced herself and then she got touched and she said was that you and a man's voice said me me clear as day that was in the surgeon's room yeah Oh Jesus, Dave! What? <laughs> you scared the shit out of me! <laughs> There's state tax and post mortem income tax consequences. Post mortem? Post mortem? Post modem? Post Malone? <laughs> <laughs> so they told us last time that this doll is said to be haunted. I want to turn her on. So, you know. Why are you crying, mommy? Oh, hell no. Oh, my boy. Let's keep her right here. Okay. Can you hop like a bunny? Shut the fuck up. We're going to square up. <laughs> you want to see who's cute? You sure you want to keep that on? Yes. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go inside. We're gonna set up the table for our snacks and our equipment. And then we're gonna go set up one of the night vision cameras in the hallway for the shadow manas on a tripod. Alright. So we're gonna leave it there for a while. You want to go screw around with the Scrabble board? Yeah, let's go put some words on there and see what happens. She told us that there was a, the, the story behind that room was that the lady, there used to be a lady who volunteered here, and she used to sleep in that room, like, long time ago. And mm -hmm. she, there was a table with a Scrabble board, and, like, she would play Scrabble with the ghosts. Like, she would arrange it at night, and, and when it she would woke up, there would be, like, words added to it. You know how she you play Scrabble? And then that lady also volunteer here with the guy who killed himself in the bathroom. Very the bold. <sighs> here we go. Here we go. Alright. So you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. ready. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. Let's go. To start off the night, we are breaking up into groups of two. Me and Dave are heading up to room 31 with the Scrabble board, where allegedly a woman volunteer used to play Scrabble with the spirits. 
We are setting up the word hello on the board to see if any pieces move and we are taking along a night vision camera and a spirit box to try and communicate. Meanwhile, Brittany and Cameron are heading down to the basement to try and communicate with the male spirit who specifically likes females. They will also be taking a night vision camera and the EMF reader. Okay, me and Dave are about to head up to the asylum and I want to publicly apologize to you, Dave. <laughs> for what? For yelling at you last time in Sarah's room. When her phone died. Did you see that white thing in the fucking video? Yes, I and now I don't even have the video. Yeah, you do. You My phone is dead. It didn't fucking save. <laughs> okay, come on, team. Okay. With my new nails. Ooh. One, two, three, go! Oh. I know, already know what's going on. I'm not touching your butt, Dave. Go yeah, ahead. I know. <laughs> Alright. Me and Dave are heading up to the um, Scrabble board room. We're going to. It's this floor, right? Yeah. We're going to rearrange the pieces on it. And see if they get moved around. went ahead and set up one of the cameras out in the hallway to try and catch any orbs or shadow figures that could be out there. However, after reviewing the footage, we did not catch anything out in the hallway. Okay, this device is used for you to communicate with me. Is there anybody in here with us? Is that excuse? Uh, you know, you can see the door and everything, or it's like, yeah. like the hallway. Yeah. I saw something. You can see the doll in the window, too. That's really weird. Cam and I are in the basement. Um, we're in the, it looks like the school room. Um, there's books and a chalkboard type thing. Um, we're going to do an EVP session to see if anyone is here with us. Put 
your name? I have this device in my hand, but a green light. If you come near it, it'll go off. So let us know that you're here. Me and Brittany are in another room in the basement, which this this is the room that is known for people being touched, mm -hmm. specifically women, by, I think they said, last time I was in this basement, I felt very uncomfortable. Not specifically in this room, but, was that you? While Cameron and I were wrapping up our EVP session, we both heard what sounded like walking right outside the doorway. Unsure of what it was, I decided to walk out into the hallway to see if it was possibly Trinity or Dave, and there was no one there. Um, I'm at 7.5 right now. What? 7.5?
Sure. Or do you want us to stay and talk to you? Go. Is that you? Don't be not fucking me! Okay. Is it, does it still say hello? Yeah. What the fuck was that? Okay, I think we need to leave because it told us to leave. Okay. I just walked up some steps. So. Is this the map room? It's real hit and miss on the lights here. The third floor attic works. I mean the asylum. You okay? <laughs> I just heard something. Oh my god, it fucking scared me. What did you hear? Like something moved. You sure it wasn't my foot? No. That doesn't look like your creepy picture at all. Why did everybody back in the day look like they were serial killers? Can you go in that room? Room 10? At first, it freaked me out. What? Right here. We're right here. You never guess what happened. Y'all dumbasses forgot to take a fucking radio <laughs> with you. <laughs> what? All right, yeah, here we go. This is the, I remember this room. Why is there a bunch of children's children? Because I think this is a kitchen. Because if I'm correct, if we got here, go over here. Yeah. This is where the lady killed herself. Suicide. Hand warmers in every crevice of my body right now. <laughs> okay, so me and Cameron. Sorry. <laughs> me and Cameron are going to the drunk tank slash laundry room. Brittany and David. Do you go? Do you like Dave or David or Junior? All three. At the same time. Okay. Dave, David, and Junior, and Brittany <laughs> are going to the bathrooms upstairs. What? Ew. Hey, -o. All the lights in the asylum work. I know, we were, me and Dave were turning them on. All right, come on, guys. You too, it's fucking dark over there. I thought it was right there. No, that's, no. The, that's where Grandpa's standing. We're going over here. Oh. What's up, bitch? I thought, what is that? <laughs> We're going over here. All right, bye. Bye. What? This is where we're going. Okay. I don't know what they consider the drunk tank, though. I don't know either. What is this? Is anyone down here? Look how red my nose. Oh, never mind. 
was like, look how red my nose is. <laughs> Who's down here? What's your name? Calvin. I sound like Calvin. Did you say Calvin? Is that your name? How old are you? Who is it? How many of you are in here with us right now? One. Do you want us to leave? Did you like your time you spent here at the seminary? Were you treated fairly? Yeah. So if you have anything to say, you can go ahead and say it now. Are you, do you want to come in? You can come in here and communicate with us. We're not going to hurt you. I'm going to turn this spirit box on. This is a way you can communicate with us. I'm going to ask you questions and you can answer back through the frequencies of the, of it scanning. Me and Cameron are leaving the laundry room slash drunk tank room. I don't know what's the, the drunk tank. Is it that room over there? Is it this room? I didn't. It's I don't know. Laundry. I know. I don't know. I don't understand that. Okay, we are heading over to um, the Civil War side, the original building. We are going to um, try to communicate with Elizabeth Styles and see if we can get her to come through. Why? <laughs> I don't know. You never know. Brittany and Dave are a couple floors above us on this side of the building. Ready to check? Check. Look at our eyes. This is evil. Just letting you know that we are now over in the Civil War side of the building um, on the second floor. So any noises you hear from that side is not us. Communicate with us. <sighs> <laughs> the 
just someone in here with us? What's your name? you can talk with us. Who's here with us right now? Are you in the hallway? Do we scare you? Are you afraid of us? We heard you make a noise out there. Did you move the chair or one of the wheelchairs? What's your name? Who are you? How old are you? Who's here? We can hear you. <laughs> Has to be what? Sounded like a chair with metal legs. Metal legs? You know, like, it sounded like. That's what it sounded That's like. That's what it sounded like. But it sounded like it was out there. Yeah. In the hallway. Thing is open. It was closed. I closed it when we first came to the fucking room. All right, Dave and I. Huh? Oh yes, thank you. Thanks for remembering. Dave and I. What floor are we going to? The third floor? Uh, yeah. Dave and I are going to the bathroom where um, allegedly a female was mm, assaulted. And we're going to see if we can make contact. This one? I think it's this one. Oh my god, there's a tub in here. I think that's a bat. Is that a bat? Oh fuck no. That is, that is a motherfucking bat. So, I went up to the... What the fuck was that? You that was me? No. I just stepped forward. I didn't do that, make any of that noise. It was just a. 
Okay. So here. During the investigation in the bathrooms, Dave and I heard unexplainable tapping coming from inside one of the stalls. Nine oh eight at night, and we were in the bathroom where allegedly a female was assaulted. And I'm going to. So, hello, my name is Brittany, and I have my friend here, his name is Dave. Hi. We just want to make contact. Is there anyone here with us right now? Were you making those noises earlier? Turn your flashlight off. Look at that. I don't know. That's when I only turn my phone on. They just be messing with it. I don't know. Let's it. This is Dave and Brittany in the bathroom where Harry completed suicide. Hello, my name is Brittany, and I have my friend here. His name is Dave. Hello. Is there anyone here with us? Do you smell that? Ever since we were in the, um, ever since we were in the female bathroom, like I've been, I, like, I smell soap. Yeah? Jesus. <laughs> Alright, so Dave and Brittany said that they found a bat upstairs and they want to go see the bat. You guys haven't gone in those bathrooms, have you? Mm -mm. Cameron, I think me and you need to stay split up because we have, we always, sorry, we always have stuff happening. Wait, we're leaving Brittany. <laughs> sorry. Oops. What was that smell? What smell? What smell? Did you just put sanitizer on your hands? No. All right, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's dinner time. Camera, sit in the chair. Is this chair? <laughs> 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 Grandpa. What? Like what? What? Like what? This thing is on the place. is gonna kill me. That's the right. <laughs> the last one on the right. Here we go straight back. Wait, I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh my god, come here. What? <laughs> <laughs> it was. Is it still there? Oh, look, it's right there. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, it is. <laughs> he's so cute. It's a little baby. Guys, he's probably dead. Is he dead? Right, well, they would be hanging upside down dead. Because they might be stuck. Well, wait, yeah. Touch him. Yeah. Hey, no, no, no. Dave, touch him. Come on. Did you hear that? Don't. Yeah, I fucking heard that. What? what? Did you hear that? Yeah. What? What was it? The noise again. Yeah. What? <laughs> What's the noise? Yeah. I heard that. Well, my, my head shot to you guys to see if anybody else heard that. Oh my god. <laughs> this is fucking what? stupid. Alright, so the other one is here. Hi, honey. Hi. I missed you. Hi, I missed you too. <laughs> What kind of dead animal? You don't know. 
looks like a bat or a rat. A bat or a rat? A bat rat. What's in this one? Oh, it's a little bat. Let me see. I'm pretty sure it's a little bat. Oh, Dave, get him out. No, I'm not fishing no dead animal out of it. Dave, please go touch the bat. I'm not touching the bat. I will give you my stimulus check. <laughs> Just touch it. I'm not touching the bat. Why? Give you my tax return. She'll give you her tax return. <laughs> I don't want your tax return. Just touch it. I don't want to touch Why? it. Why? Because we're going to think it tax my ass. I'll protect you. No, you won't. You're going to run. Come on, let's go. I'll, we'll go together. Here. It's probably dead. It's probably frozen. Fuck. <laughs> Alright, it's dead. <laughs> I hit it. This next clip contains the most incredible EVP I have ever heard. When I heard it, I immediately called the entire team of investigators to make sure it wasn't any of them. Okay, now what? Oh, uh, let's go back to home base, get ready for isolations. Come on, Dave. Come on, Dave. Come on, Dave. Oh. <laughs> fucking Cameron doing her speed walking. This is how she walks at work and she's like, where's Donnie? <laughs> I need to have a word with him. All right, it is 1.30, like 1.40 actually. It is 1.40, and we are wrapping up our investigation for tonight. We're all tired and cold. It's literally 20 degrees outside, and it snowed before we came. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and um, we'll see you in the next investigation.